Welcome to NetSuite. In this video we will be covering the communication sub-tab in a customer record. First navigate to the customer record you want to edit. In the sub-tab section click communication. Notice that the sub-tab also has its own set of tabs, these include messages, activities, files, and user notes. Displayed is a list of all communications sent either through NetSuite or logged in NetSuite to any contacts at the customer company. Information is displayed in rows and columns with the information in each column shown at the top of the column. This includes the date, the user that sent the email, the recipient, the subject of the communication, this will be the subject of the email in most cases the type of communication that was sent, if a file was attached, and the messages were only sent to internal employees. To view the contents of a message that has been sent click the view button on the left hand side. A pop-up window is now shown with the contents of the message. In this case a sales order is shown. Notice that there are other tabs shown here as well. Those are recipients, message, attachments and read receipts. The recipients tab shows who received this message. The attachments tab lists any attachments included with this message and the read receipt tab shows if the contact indicated that they received the email. You are also able to reply directly to this message by pressing the reply button here. This opens the new email form. The recipient will automatically be set for you. Clicking the Messages tab will show an editor where you can type your message. The Attachments tab allows you to add a document template, such as a Word document, that will be automatically filled in with this customer's information using a merge function. To add a file from your desktop click on the plus icon here. Click Choose File. This will allow you to select an item from your computer to attach. When you have included everything you need to in the message click Merge and Send. This will send the message. The sent message will now show in the list of messages. To compose and send a new message click the email button here. You will see that the tabs and fields are the same as the reply function. Next we will cover the Activities tab. This tab shows all activities related to this customer. Those can include tasks, phone calls or event. Each activity button is in its own pair of two buttons, the first say new and the second say log. The new buttons add a new task, call or event for the future. As an example we will click new phone call. Add all the information you have on hand including the information in sub-tabs. This creates a new item for us to handle in the future. Once the call is complete you would then click the completed button at the end of the row. Here. The status now changes to completed. If a phone call has already occurred and you want to add it to the system you would click on log phone call. Add all the information you have on hand including the information in sub tabs. Now a new activity is created with the status set as complete. Next we will look at the files sub tab. This is where files related to this record will be stored. To add a file that is already in NetSuite select that item from the attach existing files drop down. Then select attach. To add a new file from your computer click the new file button. A pop-up window will now display. 
All files uploaded to NetSuite are required to have a folder assigned. To select a folder click the Folder field and press List and select a folder. Press Choose File to select a file from your computer. Press the Save button in the upper left. The next tab is the User Notes page. This tab shows notes about the customer, this could be about an email sent, a letter sent or a general note. To add a new note press the New Note button. Fill out fields. Put the information about the note in the memo field here. Press Save. The note is now shown here. This concludes our video on the Communications tab. Thanks for watching.